today I'm trying to record a new new educational video um, I will try to be to be fast and conscious and so it will be easy also to to see this video <clears throat> okay mm, we are currently on a daily time frame on a Bitcoin and uh, today I want to explain you something about uh, um, about some figures and we talked about moving averages in previous video I will try to explain you also something related to the exponential moving average so we talked about the 20, 50, 100, 200 moving average today we will try to talk about the moving average, the exponential one okay of course uh, we will try to have many of them so basically you see here the length so what's the length? I didn't display it about the moving average but the same uh, uh, the same um, the same rule here the length is the number of candles that uh, will be used to calculate the moving average basically so uh, in, in case we have a 9 we, we, the, this line is drawn based on the average on the last 9 candles so an important the moving average are the 21 the 55 the 233 let's do it bigger and the okay scale blue no i i i got the blue and uh, the 389 oh, let's do this also right thicker and this way okay <clears throat> so um as you can see if we check that 21 moving average here let's hide all the others as you can see uh, it's a um, base it's tested a lot of times and it's used as a support as you can see on daily it's frequently used as a support and resistance as you can see here the 21 worked as a, as a support here touch it as a support here it was partially broken but price stayed here and then move up again here as a resistance again a resistance then broke there is a concept that you must um, you must understand here that um, the more a support is tested or a resistance it's the same the weaker it will become okay so let's uh, let's do some example we didn't talk about the support and resistance already but if this is um, a support level here here the it has been used as a resistance and this level flipped from resistance to the support so here almost touched as support <clears throat> here work at the support here again here again here again so this, this, this is basically a support but how many times it has been tested a lot i mean too much maybe so every time as you can see the bounce is, is weaker the first time we have a, a good bounce 
here. You may say this is a um, complete bounds. This is the first, the second, and the third. And we broke. We broke down. Then we test it. And let's see. We have the bulls will have the the power to test this level again and break break up or go down again but as you can see as i want to explain you about the moving average the exponential one the 21 is really working as a support and the resistance let's see also the 55 55 uh, it's um, it's more useful on uh, on the lower time frame it's uh, great for uh, for some scalping also one hour this is bitcoin let's go this way okay as you can see the 55 on low time frame is a uh, is uh, is very nice as you can see it locked the, the price down here again here to work in a support so it's useful to use it uh, on, um, on lower time frames to catch the places where the price may bounce okay Let's let us back to daily time frame. Mm, as I told you, the 25 is very important. Okay, but the 253 and 389, these are some magic, some magic moving exponential. Let's check first only the 200. 33 as you can see here price is here here again broke let's, let's zoom on this is price action the price broke the hemi dimehe tested it two times and start flying well, i guess this is very very interesting as you can see also here use it as support and resistance we are on um, bitmax let's move to ba to bitstamp we have more history so we can appreciate much more the, its usage okay so let's let's check this now in the 2000 well, let's remove this in the 2013 also used also very always used here we have some interaction here you no know? I usually use it for uh, as targets you know I mean if I buy here I'll try to sell on the 233 touch for example hmm. and so on so as you can see this moving average is uh, going high yeah, higher and higher also supporting the, the price on uh, its bull run and then here we are the 389 it's longer very longer but the same very very much used so here we still have uh, what we we talked about in the last in the last session i guess we should remove all of this now okay so for example the this level is a support to me for example as you can see here it worked then someone triggered the retailers the retailers stop losses and they used the, the, the 
generated liquidity to pump the price up. Okay, now let's talk about um, some um, some figures. We we'll remove this. Okay, <clears throat> some figures. Um, an important figure is um, the um, the so-called uh, head and shoulder. Okay. Let's draw it some somewhere else. This is the, the head and shoulder pattern. Okay, so when price do something like this, so the price is let's, let's use the oh. let's do this way. Let's, let's suppose the price do something like this. Okay, then we may see some wick here, okay, and this, and when we have exactly this break, it's clear that this is an head and shoulder pattern, then we will have a broke down. Some traders start, in this case, shorting from this point, okay, to maximize their profit, but be aware that if until they come the all feature the, the figure is completed it's not sure it will be an head and shoulder pattern so only here you will have the you will be sure okay this is an higher risk entry the head and shoulder pattern <clears throat> is important uh, to be checked at the end of a uh, bull run or bullish trend. So you, we will never try to to figure out if this may be a head and shoulder pattern. Maybe it could be, but never like uh, another shoulder that we may have uh, here at the hand at the hand of uh, uh, a bull trend here we have a bull trend okay so maybe this is another shoulder pattern okay I have to draw it better because as you can see we don't have we don't have the, the figure complete so but if you check this well this is an end and shoulder it's uh, at the end of a, a bullish trend if, if this is not a bullish trend I don't know <laughs> what's a bullish trend here we have a gray bullish trend Okay, and here we have another shoulder. In fact, the price moved down. How much? How much it moved down? Something like this. Well, a little. Maybe I didn't draw it very well. Also, I guess I should have draw it here using the close candle close price yes okay so let's try to calculate it again something like this and something like this whoa so this is a perfect hand and shoulder pattern as you can see the same uh, um, same quantity, same percentage from the basis to the head we have as a breakdown. Okay, so this is a working head and shoulder. Then there is the inverse head and shoulder. So when uh, I will try to find an head and shoulder, okay, on the inverse, so from um, at the bottom of a bearish trend 
okay of course this is not a bearish trend i will never try you should never try to find a uh, bearish uh, bearish um, so uh sorry a reversal head and shoulder a reversal pattern like this you will never try to find it here you have to search for it uh, at the end of a bearish trend so let's let's check for example here if we may have another shoulder well i, I don't see it truly let's let's check on one hour time frame maybe we will be like here we will find one maybe well mm, i i don't see it but i guess you you understood the the, the idea okay so i i can talk also about something else i have some um, few more minutes Mm. I guess another important um, concept to explain you is the the support resistance level, but I will uh, explain in another video what I can uh, I can do right now is uh, another explanation about figures. This is for example uh, a wedge because the the high lows of the prices are moving within a channel that's becoming uh, all, always more more little um, more, more thin and in this case uh, uh, here a uh, breakout is expected in, statistically when we have an ascending wedge like this it breaks upwards okay this is only statistics until it really breaks you can't know but if uh, this kind of figures hence breaking down well the breakout will be very very strong because this is a, a bullish pattern but uh, if uh, it breaks you know, on the contrary then it will be a strong dump for example okay like, like this also we may say we may say here <clears throat> Let's try. Maybe this is what this was uh, uh, an ascending. Uh, no, this was a, a, thing, a flag. This was a flag. Almost parallel channel. Almost parallel. So this is a, a continuation pattern instead. When you see a channel like this, this is. A continuation of this trend okay so you the trend will continue in this case also here I see a wedge the price wedging then uh, here we have the break breakout okay price tested again here is a tested again this price this level which was acted as uh, it was used as support and resistance here tested and then started flying also we may say this was uh, another figure This is another figure with an ascending triangle. It usually breaks 
upwards like this and back here we have the triangle okay is a descending triangle an ascending triangle and uh, for example here instead this is a classic you should you should know this this is that was an ascending triangle okay we may draw it better here like this here was very very more clear this was an ascending triangle which instead usually breaks down yeah. breaks down and here we have the same we had the same uh, ascending triangle here which broke down okay so these are some uh, some figures that you should you should be aware of <clears throat> they are very useful because um, statistics here will help you statistics always will help you to to be ready at least for uh, for some uh, for for the price action okay and uh, how to use this in trading when you see this figure you can start shorting from the border here that border you should start shorting here um, or uh, here for example over here over here and uh, on the contrary could uh, when you see it you start longing of course just some simple rule if you need at you must have at least two point here on one border on one hedge and two point on the other hedge to see a channel to see a triangle to see a wedge okay you can't uh, draw a wedge only based on one line you need at least two points to get connected Okay, if I see this two point as connected, then I, I will uh, continue this line. I see that, well, touch, 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 touch. Yes, this is a, a covert line. Okay, and the same here. I will try and flat this. I will try to connect as many points as I can. Basically, as this is a pump price action, we may skip that week. And only continue using this okay this is a FOMO uh, maybe it's not correct to, to take this point as a, a start for the wedge so basically we just talking about this current price action what do we have we have here uh, for sure uh, a resistance level here this, this level uh, stop the price to moving up and here we test it again a currently daily candle is breaking it down so let's see if uh, bulls will be able to prove pu to push price up again okay so this may be uh, good point for a little short scalp and then we will see if rice will uh, go up or down okay down again to complete this this wedge okay till uh, someone will, uh, will, will pump or dump it okay guys hope you appreciate it uh, I, hope I was short on this video and um, i hope you you will enjoy it thank you very much have a nice day bye guys